Persian cat versus Napoleon cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Persians is a medium-sized cat that usually has a weight range of 7 to 12 pounds. The Napoleon is a small cat. As is always the case, exact size standards might vary. Most Napoleons weigh in at 5 to 9 pounds. That said, many may be smaller or larger than average. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Persian's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear, and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. The Napoleon cat comes in a very large range of colors. In fact, pretty much any color and combination go with this kitty. When it comes to grooming, it will depend on whether your Napoleon cat is long or short-haired. While a short-haired Napoleon will make do with weekly brushing sessions, a long-haired feline will need much more attention. Brushing a long-haired Napoleon four or five times a week will really help ward off the chances of mats forming. In terms of climate, most Napoleon cats are adaptable. You should also always make sure that there are enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. If you talk to the owner of a Napoleon cat, you'll very quickly hear them go on about just how loving and people-focused these felines are. When living with a Napoleon cat, you can expect the kitty to follow you around and want to snuggle up with you at any opportunity. They do great with kids and will bond very easily with humans. Just remember that Napoleon is such a sociable kitty that they really need to be around people as much as possible, so consider another breed of the cat if you're going to be away from the house for long periods of the day. Beyond being a total cuddle bug, Napoleon also has a playful and curious side. They might not be the most athletic jumpers, mainly due to their short legs, but they are always up for a play session. It's best to add some interactive toys to the living environment to keep your cat mentally stimulated. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Although they are beautiful and sweet, Persians are prone to a number of potential health problems, most commonly related to their facial structure. Breathing difficulty or noisy breathing caused by constricted nostrils. Dental malocclusions, meaning the teeth don't mesh well together. Excessive tearing. Eye conditions such as cherry eye and entropion. Heat sensitivity. Some of the more common health problems Napoleons suffer from include cataracts, lordosis, polycystic kidney disease. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing at least once a month is a good idea. It's important to keep up your Napoleon's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. 
Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, make sure that you pick up a scratching post for your Napoleon cat's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. The mixed breed's ears should also be examined regularly for signs of dirt building up or possible infection. Talk to your vet about starting a regular tooth brushing regime that will suit your Napoleon. Your vet can advise you about specific brands and techniques. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under eye stains from forming. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they eat almost exclusively meat. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Canned cat food is about 70 to 80% water, while dry food is only about 10% water. Although you can make up some of the water lost by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. Persians aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. Napoleon gets along great with young children. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. Supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the good-natured Napoleon usually fares well with many domestic animals. But always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Sometimes these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. Early socialization really pays off with these breeds. Make sure to reward your Persian and Napoleon for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.